Agreed, agreed. Oh wow, this map is weird colors. It's like dark. Destiny's purple kind of blends in with the map. Yeah, okay. Thank you for that, Ryan. Please don't curse on my stream. Pretty BM. We'll have to block communication with Ryan Russia after this. This map is interesting. There are three fairly accessible expos. Oh, yeah. And a giant flower in the middle. <laughs> wow, that is a pretty sick flower. Nice, nice. It's a pretty good garden if it grows flowers like that, would you say? I would say. Okay. I wish I wish I could dry grow flowers like that. Hey Ryan, I'm gonna uh shave off your eyebrows. Is it just me or the Zelnaga towers creepy? Yeah, they're they're floating. That's cool. Nice. Are there gold expos? Oh, there are in the center. So I guess map control will be... Actually, it doesn't really matter. They don't really need the golds. There's like five expos on each half of the map. That's true. I don't know. There's rocks everywhere, too. I mean, I think just going mass roach would be pretty good on this map and breaking the rocks. Or like zerglings, maybe. Just attacking from that all different angles. Wow. Destiny appear to have gone for the 15 pool and then the delayed 15 gas. Nice. Wow, our yellow Zerg Asgard went for the 15 hatch again. Nice. And he did it in the back, which should be pretty safe for him. I was a little disappointed when he didn't just make the hatchery in his main, but mm, me too. He's obviously not as smart as Destiny. Making a hatchery at an expo. Well, that seems weird. Destiny two has laid down his hatchery at his expo, uh, and it, it would also appear that Destiny has uh, made mass overlords because he's 16 for 34 supply right now. <laughs> It's that's pretty good. Um, that probably means he's going roach, right? Yeah, yeah. It's cat style. First, you make a ton of overlords, and you save up like two thousand minerals, and then you just make thirty roach at once. It's pretty good. It's good. It's good. We should um, like for MLG, just make a T-shirt, and then just have cats like with a troll face, and and just be like, have it say, "Roaches, the cure for bad macro." <laughs> would be good or or a s instead of a picture of cats we could have a picture of like 8,000 minerals and have it say I'm saving <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would be good too <laughs> yeah and it would be like quoted by root cats excellent <laughs> Alright, so maybe we should uh, get back to the game, maybe just for a couple minutes at least. Agree. So Destiny appears to it have expanded too. And uh, Asgard is getting a good scouting zergling in there. Oh yeah, wow. I'm not sure if I like this map, Drew, but it seems to be highly zerg favored in this matchup. Kind of like the last map. Yeah, I agree. I mean, if a Zerg can build a hatchery in their own main and still win ZVZ, it seems a, a little bit imbalanced. Agree. Yeah. And, yeah, I don't know. I think the Zergs, like, draw energy from that giant flower in the center. Or they, Probably. they can feed off it, too. Yeah. Destiny has started his lair. Um, quite a bit behind Asgard. Oh uh, yeah, he's behind in workers too. Asgard throwing down a big drone transfer. Oh, 
That's the nice thing about Zerg, though. If you're, uh... If you don't have enough workers, you can just build, like, 30. Yeah. And then you do have enough workers. That is nice, isn't it? Gotta love Zerg sometimes. Hmm. Asgard's doing some... Oh. Asgard was doing some really good harass. Yeah, he's, he's three drones ahead still, and he forced Destiny to make a ton of Zerglings. And, uh, so Asgard's making a spy right now, and Destiny actually only has one gas. He's taking his second and third. But Asgard I've noticed something very interesting about this map. If you choose to take the safe expo on the, uh, inside of your main, I guess, you only get one additional gas. Oh. Yeah, I guess, um, it's a, the price you pay for taking the easy expo. Hmm. And there is, like, two destructible rocks there instead of just one, so it would take a while to break those. And Asgard has, uh, thrown down his second expo quite a ways ahead of Destiny. Oh yeah, he's even more ahead in workers right now. I think Destiny could be in trouble here. We're gonna have to see if he uh, decides to upgrade Neural Parasite, or if he gets uh, the energy upgrade for quicker fungal growth. It'll be a tough decision. I mean, researching 90% of Neural Parasite is... It's really good if you want to <laughs> waste time. Yeah. And resources. <laughs> Agreed, agreed. It, it is pretty good if you're trying to play the mind games like Destiny really likes to do. Destiny going for the double upgrades. Um, do we have any upgrades? And Asgard's throwing down the double Evo chamber so he can do that as well. I think um, he just has no idea the mutas are coming. Except that you just saw them. <laughs> Alright. So hopefully Destiny will have time to throw down some spore crawlers and get that uh, energy upgrade for the infestors. He's thrown down one spore crawler. Okay, hopefully. Though he safe. does appear to be highly oversaturated in his main. Yeah. It's gonna be another one of his mind tricks. He'll let, um, he'll let his opponent, uh, Asgard, kill like ten drones, and then he'll get infestors out and fungal the muta and kill them all, and then he'll be like, "Haha, I tricked you! I didn't need those drones. I was oversaturated." You know? I do know. It's, he's so good at those mind tricks. But I'm, I'm Asgard is uh, he's getting pretty ahead. Choosing not to mine his gas. Okay, there we go. But he's very ahead economically. I agree. Hmm. Destiny is throwing down his third. Alright, yeah, hopefully he can get that up. The meter ask would be maybe be able to deny it. Oh wait, the Asgard only made three meters and now he's going mass roach. Pretty good little mind trick there, you know, fake meta. Get him to throw down some spores. Well, when you're as economically ahead as Asgard is right now, it's probably a pretty safe move. Agreed, agreed. Wow. As one annoying observer, <laughs> Taro, keeps pointing out, he has a lot of drones in his main. It's something to see. And they're mining extra fast under the raining goop. Yeah, do you know that if you uh, pour goop over goop, you actually get double speed bonus? Oh, I didn't know that. Hey, and yeah, it's, it's yeah. pretty good. If you pour goop over your hatcheries, then they actually spawn larvae at double speed. Yeah, and if you have like eight overlords doing it, as Destiny does right here, you get octuple speed. <laughs> okay. Awesome. I don't know why more Zergs don't do that. <laughs> it's actually because they don't know. It's like the um, oh, okay. yeah, the two that. hatch in base mass Zergling <laughs> builds. 
<laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, ZVZ is just gonna change after this. This uh, 360icon.com tournament is change is going to change the face of ZVZ as we know it. Yeah, this tournament is gonna be legendary. People are gonna talk about it years from now when StarCraft 3 comes out. Remember when we have Destiny a big <laughs> Zergling force moving in to attack Destiny's rocks and he can see them if he's looking at his mini map. Yeah. I I don't know how Destiny has a bigger army right now. We also got some Zerglings nice. moving into his expo. If he chooses to attack with them. Oh, Destiny's done the very clever hold position trick with his drones. Oh, do they not so attack like he's when they're on hold position? Right. They oh, don't attack. Cool. I didn't know about that. So, uh, the Zerglings can't get at the Queen. Hey, yeah, but that would be good when it's you're like SCV Marine all inning Zergs. Yeah, you can you can move all your Marines or your SCVs and have them hold position around And your then Marines. they just make a blockade. Wow. That's pretty yep. Imba. Hey, cool. Agree. Cool, there's actually three rocks. I just realized that. I thought there's only two rocks at the back expo, but there's three. That's pretty cool. Destiny is choosing to help um, Asgard take down the rocks. <laughs> yeah. He wants to encourage Zergling harass. And uh, Destiny is moving out with a maxed army. Yeah. The Asgard might be in trouble here. Well, Asgard's um, energy, or I mean army tab resources are higher than Destiny's. Let's see the upgrades. How are their upgrades looking? Oh, Asgard's got the upgrade advantage. Pretty good. Yes, he does. Oh, and he's got some sneaky infestors on the cliff. This could be trouble. <laughs> Only gets one. It's kind of just like oh, some BM. Nice. BM fungals. Agreed. Pretty bad manner. Oh, but that was a good fungal by uh, Asgard. Only half Destiny's army was attacking there. And the Hydra are doing really good damage from behind the roaches. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see who can end up winning this fight. Ooh. Looks like Destiny. That's very interesting. Wow. That those uh, fungals were very good. Yeah, I can't believe he won that fight. But, uh, yeah, the rest of Asgard's army just popped out. Destiny really should just back off right now. He's way ahead on uh, units lost, so could be ahead if he just backed off and gathered up his army. So he's gonna go in and go for it. Hmm. Hmm. Neither player seems to have too many larvas saved up. I guess they use them all after that last battle. I actually, um, don't understand how Destiny did as well as he did, being down on upgrades. Yeah, and fighting on the other side of the map. I think uh, Asgard actually had slightly more expensive army too. It was very well played by him. I guess the infestors on the cliff and the fungal growths really put him ahead from the start. Yep, I guess. Pretty decent infestor play. Must be nice. Destiny finished his two armor upgrades, so that'll help him. And his army is much larger than Asgard's right now. Hmm. Interesting. And I expect to be seeing a GG from Agnesguard here pretty soon. Yeah, he actually has double his opponent's supply now. Oh. And there, there we have it! The GG! Destiny wins! Destiny wins! 4-0! What a finals! I wish all the other matchups were as exciting as ZVZ. Those 
well played and uh, congratulations to Destiny and to his opponent Asgard for making it to the uh, the finals.